Tonight, a disturbing discovery made by authorities in central Mexico. 123 migrants found trapped in a trailer abandoned off the highway. Among those rescued, 34 children from different countries. Federal authorities had to join a multi-agency response team to help rescue all of the 123 migrants, said the state spokesperson from San Luis Potosí, where the migrants were found. At this time, no arrests have been made in the case. Immigration authorities writing in a statement the locked trailer was found after an anonymous caller reporting hearing cries coming from within. Most of the migrants coming from the Central American countries Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras and El Salvador. The discovery inside the trailer, a harrowing reminder of the dangers migrants face when traveling to the U.S.-Mexico border. On Wednesday, a group of 3,000 migrants blocking a major highway in southern Mexico, demanding transit visas to get across the country and arrive at the southern U.S. border. The permits would allow migrants to purchase bus tickets and avoid walking or using smugglers. Those protesters, part of a caravan at times 5,000 people strong that has been making its way north through Mexico. Porque estamos a merced de los coyotes, de los delincuentes, entonces me parece que nos acompañamos todos cuando nos vamos en la caravana. Me parece más seguro, pues, aunque cuando uno es migrante nada es seguro. Eh, es la única manera de que pienso que podemos llegar para hacer la, la, la cita del CBP-1. Porque mientras estamos aquí estamos perdiendo tiempo y las leyes pueden cambiar. And as many risk everything for a better life, dangers loom even north of the U.S. border. On Wednesday, eight people killed in Batesville, Texas, when a suspected human smuggler crashed while fleeing from authorities. According to the Texas Department of Public Safety, troopers confirming several of the dead were from Honduras. And as Mexican authorities face pressure to protect the migrants, that caravan of thousands making its way north could arrive at the U.S.-Mexico border in the coming weeks, which would most likely overwhelm U.S. border officials once again, as we've seen in the past. Sam? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.